JJ, did you see what's going on outside the window? There's a huge baby playing with a big aquarium. Let's go see it as soon as we can. Wow, that's something incredible. Look at that huge baby. Let's go find out what he's doing. Friends, look how big his aquarium is. I feel like playing in it. Let's ask him if we can do it. JJ, come here quickly. This is the first time I've seen something like this. Hey, kid, what are you doing here? You have a really cool aquarium. Oh, hello there. My dad gave me such a big aquarium and told me to play with it around here. It's just unbelievably cool. Listen, we'd really like to play in your aquarium. Can we do that right now? I'd love to let you play in my aquarium, but my dad won't let us. You look very strange and small. Do we just want to be in such a big aquarium? Maybe there's some way you can let us in? I don't even know. Oh, right, I've got an idea. My dad won't let me eat very many sweets at all. But you can't imagine how much I want to eat them. If you can get me a lot of really cool candy, I'll let you go in this huge aquarium. I guess that would be okay with everyone. Oh, that sounds easy enough. But where do you think we should find these sweets? Especially for such a huge you. Actually, all over the village and all the villagers have candy or some kind of sweets. There are also very big sweets in the biggest house in the village. The richest person in the village lives there. JJ, that really doesn't sound difficult. We can get together, fight with the villagers, and get candy for that big kid. Oh, that could get us into a lot of trouble. But the desire to visit such a big aquarium, and even more so to play there, is much greater. Oh, great! It turns out you're bringing me candy. That's just incredibly good news for me. Can't take these sweets myself, because the villagers will tell my father everything. And I want to be a good boy. Yeah, we get it already. We'll do our best to get you the sweets. But you have to promise to let us go inside. Oh, if it's really important to you. Then I promise you that if you get me candy, I'll let you into my aquarium. JJ, I also want to build a real house underwater. That would be something really, really cool. Will you let us? If you want to build a house there, I won't mind. It would be just the thing for my fish to make new friends in the aquarium. That's great news. So that means we are now off to get ready for battle. We've got a lot of candy to get. Yes, JJ. Let's go home as fast as we can. We have some special swords and pickaxes there. We can use them to get all the candy in the village. Friends, but before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and like us. Your support is very important to us. The more likes you give, the more cool videos we'll have. And of course, thanks to your activity, we will be able to build a house inside the aquarium. Mikey, we have a really big challenge ahead of us. We have to go around the whole village and defeat all the villagers in the village. They won't just give us the cookies. So we have to have a really great battle. I'm up for it, JJ. I haven't fought the villagers in a long time. But since we have to get to the aquarium for the cookie exchange, I'll do my best. Glad to hear you're willing to do anything. Let's split up and go to different houses. Then you text everything back to me and we'll buy an aisle. Hey, Mikey and JJ, we know your plan. We're not going to let you take all the candy from our village. Oh no, JJ, they know everything. We have to finish fighting them as soon as possible and go get the candy. There are a lot of villagers in our village. We'll have to fight with them more than once. We can't do it quickly, so just beat them. Take that. You'll never be able to stop Mikey and JJ. We protect this whole village, and we're the strongest. Mikey, now I know where they keep the candy. Every house has a chest. That's where they put it all. Go to the houses, open the chests, and take the candy. That way, we will quickly accomplish our mission. I'm still having temporary difficulties. I always fight in the minority. I really need your help in this battle. Don't be afraid, Mikey. You and I can handle any challenge. We just need to get the candy as fast as we can. After all, the longer we do it, the less chance we have of getting into the fishbowl. Oh, that sounds really, really bad. We need to stop all the villagers stopping us from getting their sweets. Yoo-hoo! Another chest has been opened! We're well on our way to our big win! I hope we get through this very quickly! JJ, you and I are an incredible team. We're doing really fast. To tell you the truth, we would have beaten them all a long time ago if we wanted to. But we still have a final challenge ahead of us. We have to get to the biggest house in the village. That's where a lot of villagers really are. It's going to be a big battle. JJ, I'm totally ready for this. There's an incredible amount of sweets there. 
that's the only reason we need to head there. After all the sweets we got in the village, they won't be enough to satisfy this child's wish. You're totally right, Mikey. We should go to the big house immediately and start a real candy battle. If we can win, we can build a house inside the aquarium for the first time. I even know what it will look like already. That's really cool, JJ. I've always dreamed of a house underwater. This is really the perfect opportunity to make it happen. Exactly. I hope the baby doesn't trick us when he gets his candy. Because it's going to be really bad. And fighting with him for a spot in the aquarium. There's no need to worry about that. If we bring him all the sweets in the village, he'll be busy with them already, not us. You're right, it's really all very interesting. A huge baby, a huge aquarium, and us, who are always running after sweets. JJ, you better help me beat all these villagers. There's just an unbelievable number of them trying to protect the sweets. Mikey and JJ, give up now. You two can't beat all the villagers. We're so much stronger now. Mikey, they're trying to scare us, but we're not afraid of the huge monsters that are attacking the village. Defeating the villagers is really easy for us. That's right. We completely defeated the entire first floor. JJ, look at all the cool candy in here. That's right. Big cakes, sweets, donuts, and candy. There's going to be more of that on the second floor, too. Get it all as fast as you can, and let's go to the second floor. I want to fight the villagers and take all the sweets from them. They certainly don't deserve them. So we, as the most deserving should take all the sweets for ourselves and then give them to the child. Yes, Mikey. Let's go up to the second floor and get all the candy. I'm sure we can handle it all. Oh, there's an incredible amount of them. Here you go, Kaya. We'll definitely beat you all. Mikey, try to hold out as long as you can or bring them here. The stairs are just the perfect place to beat them all. They're surrounding me and won't let me pass properly. Come on, let's beat them together and not let them have any victory. Mikey and JJ, this is your last warning. If you don't surrender, we'll need to arrest you and send you to the police. You're stealing our candy. We are going after our goal and doing a good deed for the child. Even if you call the police, we'll still do it our way. Exactly. We will defeat you and take all the candy from your house. You already have an incredible amount of it. Take that. Yahoo, Mikey, we did it. We were able to defeat all the villagers. And now we can take all the candy from this house. JJ, look at all this stuff. Phew, I'm really, really tired. But I'm so happy that we were able to defeat them all. We couldn't lose this battle at all, Mikey. You and I are very, very strong that the simple villagers will never stop. That's our advantage. JJ, here you go. Let you have all the sweets so you don't disturb them. So, that's kind of it? Or was there something else? We have a lot of sweets already. I'm sure the little one will love it. Let's look around some more. Oh, that's right, I remembered. Yes, there was this huge candy like this at the entrance. We have to get it and give it to the baby somehow. Yeah, that would be a really cool idea. If we can carry that candy right to him, let's you try breaking it. And I'll try picking it up. It's just incredibly big coming out. Let's give it a try, Mikey. This candy is pretty big, so be careful that it doesn't crush you. It'll be fine. This is the first time I've ever picked up a candy that big. Wow, JJ, look how big it is. I'm pretty sure that little guy is going to love this candy so much. Let's run to him as fast as we can. We've collected all the candy from the village, which means we can run back to his place and buy an entrance to the big aquarium. We have spent a lot of effort. I really hope we can build a really cool house right in the aquarium. Let's run as fast as we can. The police could come at any moment and catch us. We have to get into this huge aquarium as fast as possible. Yes, let's go straight to it. I'm sure the little guy is waiting for us. And we should make him happy with some sweets. Hey, baby, here we are. We've collected all the sweets in the village, and we're ready to give them to you, just like we said. Oh, I'm so glad. I've been waiting a long time for you to come. Now I'm going to eat all these sweets tonight. Here you go. There are lots of little sweets, and we brought you a huge one. I'm sure we've done our part completely, didn't we? Yes, you did everything I asked you to do. Now, you and Mikey can play in my aquarium. I'll let you do that. Great! That means we're going in there right now. Mikey, this is just going to be unbelievably cool. That's right! We're going to build the coolest sea house right in the aquarium. I'm ready to do it! Friends, the only thing I have to ask of you is please don't scare my fish. I really care about them. Build carefully. Yes, 
everything will happen very neatly. We will build a house that won't scare or hurt your fish. JJ, wait for me! In order for us to build properly in this aquarium, we need a special potion. Let me throw it in right now. Special potion? Well, let's try what it is. I've already found us a suitable place for a house. It'll be right here! It's just the perfect place to make our special house underwater. I want to make it in an interesting shape. Then let's start building it. It will be quite an interesting experience. Of course, we'll use some light colored wood and windows. Friends, now the most interesting but long part of our construction will begin. We are going to build our house from scratch. To make it easier for us, we will break the construction into several stages and different rooms. Yes, that will be very efficient, JJ. What do you want to see in our house? Because we don't have a lot of space, we need to fit a restroom, a kitchen, and of course our bedroom. What will be your first thing to do? I really want to do the kitchen! It will be very hard to fit everything in such a small house! You take care of all the other rooms! Yeah, that's a great plan, Mikey. That way, we won't get in each other's way and do our jobs perfectly! We have a lot of experience in building houses, friends! So, we're going to do something incredible! Of course, the outside of the house won't look great. But the most important thing is what's inside. That's why we are definitely the masters. This job is really going to be a long one. But the good thing is that no one will stop us. We'll be able to spend as much time as we want. I really want to make a panoramic roof so we can watch the water and the fish around us all the time. That's just a brilliant idea. With such a roof, we'll be able to realize when we can get out and when it's better not to. What if the fish attack us? We're running out of space here. We should make more colored glass in the house so everyone knows it's our house. You have really brilliant ideas, Mikey. It will really make our house stand out from all the others. Now we need to get the water out of here as quickly as possible. The sponge will help us with that. Great, we're completely rid of the water and now we can start decorating the inside. I'm doing the kitchen, JJ. You remember, right? Of course I remember, Mikey. I'll be doing our bedroom and everything else in general. I just have tons of ideas. JJ, I'm actually really curious. What are we going to do if that little guy comes in and destroys our house? Are we going to fight him? I don't think he's going to destroy our house. He only said one condition, that we don't scare his fish. Everything else is allowed. Mikey, there's plenty of time. You can take your time and do things at your own pace. We should have the perfect house. Of course we can do it. We're the two best builders in the village, so our house can't be bad. But I didn't think it would be incredibly difficult to build a kitchen in these conditions. It's really hard for me to fit everything in here, JJ. You can definitely do it, Mikey. I believe in you. If you can't do something, I'll definitely help you. The biggest problem is that the floor here is really awful. It's part of the aquarium. We'll have to change it somehow. That's what I think. On top of this sand, we could put a rug or some stone or even planks. It'll be more comfortable than this. Yeah, that's a really good solution, Mikey. I need to finish our bedroom so everyone can have their own space. Closet and stuff! I'm sure you'll have the perfect room. I'm the one spending an incredible amount of time on a very easy build right now. But I want to get it perfect. Phew, I'm really tired of this construction. The sooner we finish the interior, the sooner we can go on vacation. You're right, JJ. We fought with the villagers for a very long time, and now we're building the interior. I'm very tired. I want to eat cookies very badly. I can say with great confidence that our bedroom has become very nice. There is a lot of room for everything. There's even a computer and a workspace. Oh, it's just really good. I wish we had a workspace and a computer in our house. I really like the way our house is starting to look. So, Mikey, this is our last room. This is where we're going to have guests. We have to build big chairs and couches and put in TVs. I'm sure your room will be incredibly cool. I'm almost done with the kitchen. I just need to put some in. We need to add as many details to this room as possible. Some posters, paintings, small things that will make the room fuller and brighter. When we finally finish this house, we will definitely go watch cartoons. Eating cookies, and of course, we'll have a party. It's really hard to build everything from scratch. Even though we have a lot of experience, we're getting tired. I'm sure the baby will love the house we built. He'll leave it here 100%. And when we get bored, we'll come here. Yeah, I think so too. This will be our small and unknown base. We'll take a break from the problems inside the village. We need to add as many plants as possible. 
They will definitely help our house show off its best colors. JJ, there are only really small things left to do. I think you and I did an incredible job. We've earned ourselves a vacation. JJ, I already think our house is completely done. All that's left is to build the roof, and we can show our friends what's up. Yeah, you're totally right. There are very few things left that we can put. But we maxed out the space taken. This house turned out really unusual and nice. I think we can even put more than necessary. It is necessary to finish completely and do nothing else. Otherwise, we'll ruin it. Friends, then I can officially declare that our house is finished. We were able to make an incredible structure right inside the aquarium. This is something to celebrate together, Mikey. We'll eat cookies, watch cartoons, and be happy. Oh, that needs to go. Yeah, you're totally right. We made the most unusual house in the world, and we made it pretty fast. Show our friends the house from the outside. It must look absolutely incredible. Now we're going to go celebrate and relax. It was really all complicated, but we did it. See you all very soon, friends.